Hello viewers, this is Wagada Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on variation of weight of a body with height above the earth's surface. So consider a body of mass M attached to a spring balance as shown in the setup below. So remember a spring balance measures weight. So the spring balance measures the weight of a body and if the setup is raised slowly to a very high height above the ground, acceleration due to gravity decreases implying that the weight of the mass M decreases. The reading of the spring balance therefore decreases. So I think we saw that in the previous lesson where we saw the variation of acceleration due to gravity with distance from the center of the earth. And we saw that outside the earth the acceleration due to gravity varies inversely proportional with the rate square of the radius of the orbit. Now we shall use that knowledge to come up with a solution to this problem. That a body weighs 63 newtons on the earth's surface. How much will it weigh at a height g equal to half the radius of the, uh, of the earth above the earth's surface? So this is the particle, it's above the earth's surface at a height of 0.5 Re. So this will be the radius of the earth. This is the height which is 0.5 Re, where, where R is the radius of the earth. That means that the radius of this orbit will be got by adding 0.5 Re plus Re to get 1.5 Re, which is there. So Re plus H is equal to Re plus a half Re which is equal to 1.5 Re. Now we know the formula that G prime, where G prime is the acceleration due to gravity at this height, multiplied by the radius of that orbit where the particle is, which is R squared, will be equal to G, which is the acceleration due to gravity at the Earth's surface, multiplied by the radius of the Earth, which is R E. Now G prime is what you want, R, R we know it is 1.5 Re, G we know it, and Re we know it is Re. <coughs> so we shall not substitute for Re, but why? Because it will cancel. I think you can see this side there is Re squared and this side there is Re squared. So there is no need to substitute for Re. Therefore, after cancelling, we shall come up with this statement 2.25, which comes from 1.5 squared. G prime equal to 9.81. 9.81 is a constant for acceleration due to gravity at the surface of the earth. So when you use a calculator, we shall come up with our G prime as 4.36 meters per second squared. Now we have managed to get the acceleration due to gravity at that point, meaning we can now get the weight. Remember, weight is equal to mg, where m is the mass and g is the acceleration due to gravity at that point. But we know that mass is a constant, it doesn't change as height increases. What changes is the weight. Therefore, from when we make mass m the subject, we shall say mass is equal to weight over g. So at the surface of the earth, the weight at the surface of the earth over g at the surface of the earth will be equal to the weight at the height h from the surface of the earth over the g prime, which is the acceleration due to gravity at that point or at that height. Now we are given that the weight is 63 on the other surface. So we shall substitute it here. This is our weight on the other surface. We know G 9.8. This we have calculated as 4.36. Now we can make Y W prime the subject to get 28 newtons. And that will be the weight of the body at that height. Now we shall go to weightlessness of an astronaut in a spacecraft. So weightlessness is defined as the condition of a body having zero reaction between it and the surface that freely springs, springs it. And this occurs when a body moves with an acceleration equal to that due to gravity. Therefore weightlessness of an astronaut is the condition of zero reaction experienced by an astronaut in an accelerating spacecraft. And it occurs when the astronaut and the spacecraft move with an acceleration equal to that g 
due to gravity. So consider an astronaut in a spacecraft orbiting around the Earth's surface, orbiting around the Earth as shown below. So this is a spacecraft, a symbol for spacecraft. This is the astronaut in the spacecraft. So there will be a reaction, capital R, on this astronaut, and the weight, this mg prime will be the weight of the astronaut. Now, outside the Earth's surface, the acceleration due to gravity varies, is inversely proportional to the square of the radius of that orbit, implying that the acceleration due to gravity decreases as height above the Earth's surface increases. Therefore, at a particular height of orbit, the centripetal acceleration A of both the spacecraft and the astronaut will be equal to the acceleration due to gravity at the height at that height, i.e. A will be equal to G prime. Thus, by Newton's second law of motion, we know that resultant force is equal to MA. So when we come here, this is the centripetal acceleration, and the resultant force must be in the direction of the acceleration, so it will be Mg prime minus R will be equal to MA. So when we come here, we shall say Mg prime minus R equal to MA. But we say that at a certain point, this A will be equal to the acceleration due to gravity at that height. So when at that point when A is equal to G prime, we shall substitute where this A we shall put the G prime. And in that case, when you make R the subject, we shall realize that R is zero. The zero reaction explains the sensation of weightlessness of the astronaut in a spacecraft. And that brings us to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform.